Okay, so here we want to know which relation is not a function. In other words, the points in each choice here, the ordered pairs, as they will refer to them sometimes, they want to know uh, which of them has a relationship between the input and output, that's the x and y, that represents a function. Now, a function, if you remember, it means that if you were to map out every domain value, let's say 1, and 2 and 3. If these are your domain values, well, when you map them out to the range, the results, so you'll x and y, as you map it from x to y, a function tells you that every input maps to one output. So let's say this maps from 1 to 5, as it does here, 3 maps to 6, 2 maps to 6 as well, that's okay. Um, 2 and 3 can both map to 6, as long as 2 or 3 don't both map to different points, and we'll get to that example in a moment. Now 4 maps to 7. So essentially, although my diagram here is terrible now that I see it, each of the inputs only maps to one output. Now it's true that 6 shares two inputs, but 2 and 3 only map to 6, so this one's okay, it is a function. But we're looking for the one that's not a function. So if we look through these, right, how can we quickly identify which of them actually is is not a function? Well, what I look for right away is a repeat in the input, right? I look at the x values, and if there are, or if there, excuse me, if there is a repeat, that's a potential time that it could not be a function. And the only case it happens in is in choice 3 with these two points, 1, 3, and 1, 7. And if you think about what's happening, what this means is that the point 1, if that's your input, excuse me, the input 1, if you start there, it maps to two different values, 1, 3, so it goes from 1 to 3, and it also goes from 1 to 7. This is not a function, because you have one value mapping, one domain value mapping to two range values. On a graph, right, what you want to quick look for quickly is any part of the graph where points are stacked on top of each other, and that happens here. If we have 1, 3, right, let's say this is 1, 3, and 1, 7, well, these two points uh, are only separated by a vertical distance, straight up and down. They have the same x value, but different y values. So somewhere in this function, if you drew a vertical line, you'd cross more than one point, which is called the vertical line test. And when that happens, when you cross more than one point, you've crossed, right, two values with the same input and two different outputs, it's not a function. So here, 3 is not a function. Alright, thanks.